So apparently 13% of all households in the United States owned a smart speaker in 2017. Over 35% of millennials use voice-enabled digital assistance at least once a month. 25% of individuals aged 16 to 24 use voice search on mobile. Voice navigation in apps is definitely on the rise, but also there is a huge push for making a more accessible apps all throughout the web. There are a lot of things that can be done using voice control to make the web more accessible for everyone. So I made an intro app to show you an example of what can be done using voice controls. And this is what we are going to make. So this is a simple app that has a navigation menu with a homepage, a blog page, a, uh, a page for adding a new blog post and contact page. And basically they all just show a header. So welcome to homepage, welcome to blog, start adding your new blog post and welcome to contact page. Over here we have a transcript field. And if I click start, the app is going to start recording my voice and it's going to detect a command that I give it. And we are going to use voice commands to navigate our website. For example, I'm now at the homepage and I can click the button and say, go to contact and it's going to redirect me to the contact page. Now from the contact page, I can say, go to new blog post. And it's going to redirect me to start adding a new blog post. And you can see our URL also changes here. So let's go into the code and see how we can make this. Before we start, you are going to need to install two plugins for React. The first one is the React speech recognition, which we are obviously going to use for our speech recognition. And the other one is React Router DOM. Uh, React Router DOM is a React plugin, which you can use to make routes for your React app which basically means you can have multiple pages and not a single page app. And for, for this example, where we have a navigation menu, it makes sense to have some routing implemented. We're not going to deep dive into, uh, into React routing. I'm just going to show you a simple example of how I've set up this project. And we are going to concentrate more on the voice recognition logic. In my project, I have a components folder, which has a couple of components. Now, all of these are just uh, simple function components. There is the app.js, which, which just has a div returning hello world. All of these are going to represent our pages in our app. So there is a blog component, which is just returning a header and all other components are the same. So contact component returns uh, its own header. Home page, home component return its own header and new blog post returns its own header. We have a CSS file, which I'm going to quickly go through. And there is index.js file, which just imports the CSS, imports the app and it renders the app on uh, inside of our root div. Now for the CSS, I just imported a font that I found. I've set up margin and padding to zero for everything. Uh, in order for this to display on the center of the page, I've set width and height to 100% of our uh, screen's width and height. I've set up a white color for the background. I've set up a black color or dark, dark gray color for our text. I've set the font family for the font that I've imported. I'm centering everything by setting display to flex and justifying content and aligning items to center. And I also set text align to center, which is mainly going to affect our headers in our components. This is going to be our links div, which is just going to have a bit of a margin on the bottom to create some separation. Our links are going to have some margin on the side so they're not squished together. I've removed text decoration so they don't have an underline and and I've set a blue color to them. And on hover, we are just setting the underline. For our headings, I also added a bit of margin at the bottom. Our transcript is going to be the uh, div, which is going to show the text that we uh, that we've said and that the voice recognition has recognized. So I just added a bit of margin to that as well and I've increased the font size. For the button that we're going to use to start voice recognition, I've set the background color to blue set the color text to white, added a bit of padding to it, added, uh, removed the border, 
and I've rounded the border a bit uh, by setting border radius. And on hover, we are just setting its color to a bit darker shade of blue. So this is a bit lighter and this is a bit darker and we're changing cursor to pointer. And that is all CSS that we're going to use, so nothing complicated. I didn't want to write it all out. To start off, I need to import all of our components. So we are importing uh, homepage, blog page, new blog post page, and our contact page. We're also going to handle state here. So we need to import use state hook from React. We also need to import all of our routing stuff. So import, and we are importing browser router route link and redirect from react router dom and we also need to import our speech recognition import speech recognition and also use speech recognition from react speech recognition first of all i'm going to set up my browser router you need to envelop your navigation in your browser router so we are going to say here is going to be our div with our links div with id links is going to be our link container link is a router component which is basically used for setting up internal links to create a link we basically just call the component here and we can pass it uh, we can pass in a two prop which is basically our href for our link so we just say for the root we want to have home and we want to close the link and you can see the link showing up here so i'm just going to copy this a couple of times and we're going to change this to blog and for the text i'm going to say blog for the third one we're going to say blog slash new which is going to be adding our new blog post and i'm going to say add blog post which is not really realistically how you would set it up but this is just an example and here we're going to say contact and the link is going to show contact and you can see our navigation here and now we're going to add our routing so to add routes, you just say route and we also have a couple of props here. So we enter a path, which is the path we are routing to. So if we hit this path and this exact path, we want to show the component and the component that we want to show is home page so this is basically how routing works so we are not going to use the exact in all of them but for the next one i'm going to say if we hit home page we don't need exact here i also want to hit the home page so what does the exact prop do it says if we hit exactly this then we want to do this if we didn't have this we would hit uh, when we hit this page we would hit both the root route and the home route and we would use both components which we don't want so for the next one we're going to say blog blog is also going to have an the exact prop and we're going to say blog page next we need to add blog new without the exact and here we are going to say new blog post page and for the last one contact and this is going to be contact page now as you can see we are on the home page currently if i switch to blog it's going to say welcome to blog if i say add blog post it's going to show our new blog post heading and on contact it's going to show our contact so the routing is working now below that we're going to set up a paragraph with an id of transcript which is going to be a transcript container and it's going to show our transcript which we don't have yet so this is a property that we need to add to get our transcript we need to say const transcript equals use speech recognition and inside of speech recognition we need to pass in our commands commands is an array of objects which is going to have all of our commands and what we want to do with them so we need to create that as well so we need to say const commands equals and then we're going to create a new array. In the array, we're going to pass in an object with its first property being command, 
which is also going to be an array. Now I'm going to pass in a couple of different commands, which are all going to have the same callback and they are going to be go to star and open star. And what this is basically going to do is it's going to recognize when we say go to, so instead of a star, it's going to be whatever we say. So if I say go to banana, it's the star is going to be banana. If I say go to contact, the star is going to be contact and it's going to recognize whatever we say instead of the star and in the callback i'm going to say redirect page which is the, the the star we are going to say set redirect url by using the redirect page this isn't working because we don't have a set redirect url we are going to add that over here so that is going to be our state so we are going to say redirect URL and set redirect URL. It's going to be set to use state and we are going to pass in the empty string. What we are basically saying is, hey, transcript is going to use speech recognition. For speech recognition, we are going to use these commands. And in these commands, we say, hey, these are two commands that you can use. So if you say go to something and open something, we are going to take whatever you've said instead of a star over here. We're going to take that in as a parameter and we're going to use that parameter to pass it in to the set redirect URL. And set redirect URL is going to set our redirect URL property. In order for us to activate the voice controls, we need to set up a button and the button is going to have a text of start and we're going to say on click we want to say speech recognition dot start listening this should work now if i if i hit start i can say hey do you hear me and it's going to set up our transcript so the way this plugin works is it's going to listen to you and when you stop talking it's going to parse your voice into a string and it's automatically going to stop there are additional commands that you can use to stop it prematurely we're not going to do that here but for now you can see that this is working and indeed it is working so that's great now the only thing left to do is to actually set up our redirection so for that we need to use our redirect here to be able to redirect people based on our voice recognition we need to set up a couple of new properties here so i'm going to set up a new constant called pages which is just going to be our array of pages that we have so we're going to have home blog new blog post and contact and this is basically going to be used to compare if the star or whatever we've said in the command exists as our page you would probably do this in a different way if you're actually working in a live environment but for now this is <clears throat> but for now this is what we're going to use and another property that we're going to set up is going to be our urls property which is going to be an object which is going to list all of our pages and their respective urls if we find that our page that we've set over here exists in our pages then we are going to use that entry to find what url we want to go to for blog page and for contact page it's easy we just go to blog page and we just go to contact page but for home page it's a bit tricky and for adding new blog post it's also tricky you can't just i mean you could just say go to root but nobody says go to root everybody would say go to home page right so we need to distinguish that we need to have a home page entry and for adding a new blog post we want something descriptive which would be hey go to add new blog post so in our urls i'm going to set home to go to the root blog is going to go to blog new blog post needs to go to the blog new and contact needs to go to contact now not all browsers support the voice recognition so we want to make sure our app doesn't break and we're going to say if not 
speech recognition dot browser supports speech recognition we just want to return now now to set up a redirect i'm going to create a redirect property which is going to be an empty string this is going to be used to set up the redirect component if we find the page in here if we find the page url if we do not find the page url we are instead of a redirect component going to set up a paragraph basically saying hey this page does not exist so we have our redirect property and we are going to say if redirect url exists and if you remember redirect url is the url that we are setting up with our set redirect url which is being called in our command so we when we say something we call set redirect url and it's setting the property here and we are going to say if that is set to something so if our voice if our voice recognition picked up something we're going to say if pages includes redirect url then we want to say redirect equals and we're going to say we're going to pass in our redirect component for which we need to set up our redirect and it's going to say two and for our redirect we are going to use our url objects here object here so we're going to say urls and we're going to pass in the redirect url else we are going to say redirect equals and like i said we're going to set up a paragraph saying could not find page and we're going to say redirect url and close it and i need to close the bracket here now we have set up our redirect but we need to actually use it and to use it you need to set it up inside of the browser router because the redirect component must be inside of the browser router and we are just going to copy it and set it over here now if i refresh this and i say open contact it's going to throw us over to the contact page open new blog post it's going to lead us to the new blog post page go to home it's going to throw us back to the home page if i say open calendar it's going to say hey i could not find the page calendar i think this is a very nice example of what can be accomplished really easily with some voice navigation i've set this up just for this example but in a real use case you would probably want to have some state controlling if voice commands are enabled and that is all I have for you today. Please subscribe if you're not already. You can also check out my other videos that are on the screen right now. My name is Alex and I will see you in the next one.